Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, newsflash, women are fleeing the MCU. Mm -hmm. Can we still call it the MCU if they're all leaving? Yeah, because they're replacing them with other women. Yeah, we're going to talk about this. Uh, almost all the original actresses in the MCU are basically leaving or on their way out. They're moving on to other things. Uh, what prompted this was an interview with Gwyneth Paltrow. I guess she had an uh, uh, Ask Me Anything on her Instagram. And she said she's done with Marvel because what's the point? There's no point for Pepper Potts to exist if Tony Stark is dead. Does Gwyneth Paltrow do much of anything except for sell candles that smell like her hoo-ha? Uh, she podcasts. I was going to say, because, you know, other than being crazy and out of touch and people making fun of her, I don't think she does much. Well, she's not doing Marvel anymore, so we'll talk about that. We'll talk about Elizabeth Olsen wanting to keep her options open. I'm sure if they throw enough money at her from Rwanda, she'll do it. She's but, made uh, comments before that she was telling other actors to not lock themselves into a multi-picture agreement with Marvel because it, 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 it holds you back and screws you up. Yeah. Oh, absolutely it does, because they, they basically want to own you. Don't mm. worry. Don't worry. Eventually, they'll just scan your face and copy your voice, and you'll just live forever as a video game character in a, a Marvel movie or something. That's what they'll do. Scarlett Johansson famously had a feud with Marvel, and she said she's done with Natasha. Yeah, but she also said that she's still working with that the Tower new Tower Terror movie and other stuff. Well, so that's that's with Disney, but right. she's yeah, she's not going to do Natasha anymore. She's she's done as Black Widow. So let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. If you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo! Uh, we are continuing to chronicle the uh, wet fart that is the, the mm -hmm. MCU. Everything is just like, it just feels over. It just feels really over at this point. Uh, it, it feels like, you know, when I used to tell the kids bedtime stories, I talked about this before and uh, you know, they didn't want the story to end. So it would be like, okay, we get to the ending and they'd be like, and then, and then, yeah, and then what happened? I'm like, I, I don't know. It's over. No. And then something, uh, I don't know. I guess the princess got kidnapped again because yeah. we need a sequel. And that's what it feels like. It feels like they they ended uh, the MCU with Endgame, and now they're just, and then, and then, and then, and then we need some more. And uh, a lot of the original ladies, are they're out. They're like, yeah, we don't need to do this. There's no, there's no Iron Man. Why do we need Pepper Potts? You know, but this is a very different attitude than some of the stars, the young stars today would take. Be like, no, I'm that side character in that movie. Yeah, I need my own Disney Plus show. That's right. Of course I do. You know, because I mean, look, if Disney could get Gwyneth Paltrow for the adventures of Pepper Potts pushing papers. And... Would they, though? Would anybody want to see that? Nobody wants to see Echo. <laughs> no true. one wants to see Ironheart. But there it is. Does that mean she's not coming back for Ironheart? I don't know. Why do you need Pepper without Iron Man? She said uh, this is in Variety. Um she redirected one Marvel fan to studio execs after she was asked about no longer appearing as Pepper Potts in the MCU. Paltrow debuted in 2008. She's been there since the very beginning. She was the first leading lady of, of Marvel. Uh, she appeared as Pepper in Spider-Man Homecoming and Endgame. During a Q&A with fans on Instagram, one follower wrote to her, I'm asking this every time, answer the question. Oh, okay, wow. I'm asking every time, answer the damn question, Gwyneth. Why did you stop with Marvel and do you miss Robert Downey Jr.? Oh, my God, stop yelling at me. She humorously responded. I'd, I'd be like, what the hell? Shut up. <laughs> we just stopped doing it because Iron Man died. And why do you need Pepper Potts without Iron Man? I don't know. Call up Marvel and yell at them, not me. I'm just sitting Yeah, here. it's not her fault. Paltrow's main co-star co throughout the MCU was Robert Downey Jr. He died in Endgame. And Paltrow feels like there's no need for Pepper to reappear in a Marvel movie. Um, and then she talked to Scarlett Johansson on the right. Goop, the Goop podcast named after her VJJ candles. Uh, she said she's done for good. I think so. Um, is this, yeah, Paltrow was asked if she was done. I think so. I mean, I didn't die so they can always ask me. So apparently they just haven't asked her, but she, she feels like she's moved on. She's moving on. Yeah. And Scarlett Johansson said she's done. Chapter's over. I did all that I had to do. Yeah. Her and then, yeah, and then she goes, playing the character again and again of her decade is such a unique experience. And that's kind of what Elizabeth Olsen was saying. She was basically like, they, they lock you into this multi-picture deal, and then you can't do other things. You get to pass on their projects because you're locked into this in case they need you. And she told actors not to do that. 
it's called a television show. When you're you're doing the same thing for 10 years, mm -hmm. it's called a TV series. And even then, 10 years is a damn long time for a mm -hmm. TV show. You have to be very, very successful to be on the air for 10 years. And yeah, they probably do feel like, well, yeah, I'm typecast. I'm basically just Scarlet Witch. And am I supposed to be Scarlet Witch forever? And this could be why Disney is looking at the AI thing. Because they're probably like, yeah. yeah. they can't do without the permission. No, but and we they're can... not going to give them permission. No, but we could we could reboot the universe and make a bunch of like digital actors, composite actors. And then we, we own this Steve Rogers forever. He's like a composite of different actors or whatever, but he's not a real person. Mm -hmm. So we own digital Steve. Uh, yeah, I guess I could do know? that. And that's probably where they're going to go. They're like, oh, these, these actors never, they never get old. They never cause controversy and they never, ever, ever ask for a raise. They just yes, want, they never just do what they're told. <laughs> they just do what they're told. Push some buttons and make it work. But the people controlling the AI, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna demand some stuff. Yeah, so she's just like, uh, she's tired of it. I mean, people were like, are they gonna do another Wandavision? I don't know. They kind of, kind of, sort of killed her, but not quite really. And and I'm sorry. I probably spoil that for people in Doctor Strange, but uh, she could step down and they get even with her. Like they could be like, oh yeah, now she looks different because magic. You know, I don't know. The whole thing's stupid. It's really stupid, but um, um, you know, and then and it's interesting though because they're getting rid of these women who have been there since the beginning or who who are you know part of the ten ten year arc, other than than Brie Larson. Most of them are, and you know, they got rid of um, oh, what's her name, Hill Mariah Hill. They just killed her off in Secret Invasion, didn't they? Oh yeah, I didn't watch yeah. the whole thing. I'm I didn't saying. watch it. I don't care. I didn't watch it at all. Um, but they supposedly killed her off. So okay, is so. Is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., is it actually canon or not? Because I can't tell because sometimes they're like, yeah, it didn't happen. Yeah, it's in the multiverse. Yeah, no, it actually is. Daredevil, yeah, that's in a separate universe, but now it's not. I don't understand. I don't know. I don't think anybody knows. It gets to the place like, like Star Wars did where you need flow charts because you don't understand what's what. But so they're still keeping women in the MCU. They're just replacing them. They're replacing all the men with new women. They have to have just being a woman isn't enough. You have to be, a, you know. A, a woman that's a you woman know, plus. Yeah, woman plus. You have to be an Asian woman. <laughs> that or probably Hispanic means woman, something else a, to some people. You know, different type of woman, and you have, or you have your character has to have some kind of disability or something. I don't know. They just keep. You I'm can't, not wrong. They're all they're all white women that are noping out. I mean, it's just yeah. So it's like they're being replaced. And then you know, to be fair with Scarlett Johansson, I don't blame her. I'd be pissed too. They didn't give her a movie until after they cared, killed her character off completely, which was absolutely ridiculously stupid. Like the whole time, people wanted a Black Widow movie, and they wouldn't give you a Black Widow movie, and then they kill her off, and then they give you a Black Widow movie, and it's like why? And now there's a new Black Widow. You know, it's going around because now we have Florence Pugh or whatever going yeah. around being Black Widow. Well, she's not going to last very long anyway because she's getting bigger now. She's not. Well, they said her. that she might be the new Rapunzel to do a live action Rapunzel. I don't know if that's true or not. That's the rumor. Well, one, she's too old. And two, that's what I thought too. everyone's already seen her tits in Oppenheimer. Which made, so you can't put the tits back in. You can't put the tits back in. That Yeah, we did another video today. I'm not sure which order these are going to drop in, but talking about... Uh, uh, dirty Disney videos, behind the scenes Disney videos. Do you really want a Disney princess with her tits out? Just, well, you can't tell an actor they can never do any roles like that. If they ever want to play a Disney princess, though. Well, what can we say? We've got we've got a literal prostitute writing My Little Pony comic books. For, oh yeah, for children at IDW. So who the hell knows? They'll probably just be like, yeah, forget about that. But uh, yeah, so then you know what's gonna happen, right? All the AI is gonna be like, hey, generate me a Rapunzel with her tits out. <laughs> right. um, I'm not going to do that. That's, I don't know. I people don't. are probably doing it right now. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they're going to send you images. I don't want them. <laughs> they will. I don't want them. Oh, somebody sent me, I got to get back to him. Somebody sent me a clip of uh, uh, James Earl Jones yeah. doing the CNN. It chops my ass. Yeah. <laughs> that was fantastic. I need to I need to write them back. I'm just, we were very, very busy. But uh, yeah, I don't know, guys. I mean, that's, that's what it seems like. It seems like all the, you know, all the, you know, Hate to say it, all the white, just plain old boring vanilla white women. They're all leaving, and no, now yeah, it's all or, or diverse, they're, they're bringing all a bunch more in to replace ma men. Yeah, I mean that's where the women are coming from. America Chavez, you know, uh, Kamala Khan, I uh, Riri Williams. They're just a bunch of male replacements. So it's it's so funny because Disney talks about churn and churn on Disney Plus. It's like I, th I think they meant the audience, not the actors. Yeah. But that's that's what they're doing. They're basically churning the MCU. And uh, people are jumping off. 
you know, it's it's a great place to jump off. Like, oh, yeah, I was invested in the MCU because of Tony and Steve, and they're gone. Natasha, she's gone. Some people were because they wanted Tony and Steve, but it's a whole other thing. Yeah, and they're gone, so it's time to move on to something else, right? And uh, everything can and will be rebooted, so none of it matters. Plus multiverse, so none of it none of it matters. Mm -hmm. there's, no, there's no stakes to any of it. Nope, nope. All right, we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.